Hello, UK and Ireland, and here's your weather forecast for today. It's going to start with a little drizzle before you get hit with the torrential downpour, followed by a super soaker session as a car drives by and splashes you. But look on the bright side, will you? At least things are back to normal, and if you have the brains to win this game, you will be the one making it rain. I'm Shazza Carpenter, quiz urologist, and this is HQ Trivia, where you use your grey matter to make your pockets a whole lot fatter. The rules are simple, I'm going to ask you a series of questions from easy to hard. You've got 10 seconds to tap the answer, you get it correct, you move on, answer all 12 right and you win or you split that cash. Today we are giving away a well waterproof £550, that's enough for a designer trench hood included, some high-end wellies that will be the envy of your friends or just save it for a rainy day like 90% of the year. But before you splash the cash, you've got to mash that cash. Here we go with Q1. Which of these is a popular children's game played at parties, rhythmical stools, tone-deaf sofas, musical chairs. Children's game? I just played this last night, though. If you don't know this one, then you may have missed childhood altogether. Putting bums on seats when the music stops is musical chairs, of course. We should all know this one. 117,980 off here. The music's just getting started for you guys. Now, there are never enough seats at a party, but that's the whole point with this classic game of elimination. Q2. What did William Wordsworth wander lonely as in a famous 19th century poem? A bingo player, a cloud, a Liverpool fan. I'll never leave you lonely, HQTs. I'll always be by your side, in your phone. Alas, Liverpool fans are famously unable to walk alone. The sky must have looked very different in the 1800s because he wandered lonely as a cloud and the sun is coming out for 102,458 of you here on Q2. Wordsworth was inspired by a walk he took with his sister. I'm sure the zero star review she got was more than mutual. Okay, a shout out time HQTs. I want to say hello to Humphrey and his winning smile in Rutland. We've got the Culver Lane Boys, the MRC Trials Unit Heroes, K Block in Rutland Hall, Alfie and Keanu in Derby, Bailey and Sedman, and Nick Jeezy as well. Good luck to all of your players. Are you ready for Q3? Of course you are. How are David Myers and Simon King better known when they appear together on TV? The Odd Couple, the Hairy Bikers, the Naked Ramblers. And we love them together on TV, don't we? They are certainly an odd couple, but with a motorized twist fully covered, even if they were naked, it's the hairy bikers. Hair raising win there by 94,207 of you, wheeling their way onto our screens in 2004. They've been serving up a tasty mix of travel log and cooking shows ever since. Q4. In 2017, it was announced that a police force in Japan would start giving which of these to foreign visitors, police station tours, accommodation in prison, martial arts classes. How generous, maybe. If you're being invited to stay the night in prison, then you are being politely arrested. More judo than jail cell. It's martial arts classes for the win here. And that was a brutal one. That was, a, I'm going to go with Savage. I'm going to go with Savage here on Q4 because we lost more than 50,000 of you. 34,234 of you. Chop this one in two, though. Aiming to build trust and improve the officer's English. Tourists are invited to learn the principles of judo or kendo. Q5, what does the musical instruction adagio mean? Slowly, abruptly, quickly. Are you going to tap this answer slowly, abruptly, or quickly? The choice is yours. We're talking tempo here, so how should adagio notes be played? Kicking back and keeping it chill, it means slowly. Slowly is what we were looking for here. 16,315 of you with a rapid win there. Easy on the metronome, but brutal on the heartstrings. The most famous example is Samuel Barber's tearjerker, Adagio for strings. Bringing tears to my eyes just thinking about it. Q6, which of these capitals does not lie on the river Danube, Budapest, Vienna, Prague? You rolling on a river? Rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. It may be Europe's second longest river, but who's shopping elsewhere for their water? The Czech capital checking out the river Voltava 
Instead, it's Prague. Prague is your winning answer here on Q6. That was a toughie. That was a brutal one. 6,275 of you doing swimmingly well. The Danube flows through four capital cities, Vienna, Budapest, Bratislava, and Belgrade as well. Q7, which skincare product creates micro injuries to the skin to promote collagen production? Derma roller, jade roller, LED mask. Got to get that collagen on and popping. They say beauty is pain, but which of these products took that far too literally? Saying sayonara to scars the hard way is the Derma Roller. Have you ever tried that one? 5,015 of your derma rolling onwards. Rolling tiny needles over your face may sound absolutely crazy, but that's exactly what you do with the derma roller and people are out there doing it. Q8, which British Prime Minister has served the longest under Queen Elizabeth II? Margaret Thatcher, Tony Blair, Harold Wilson. The longest under Lizzie. Who could it be? Wilson had two goes at it, but he still couldn't rack up as many years as this PM. Hugging number 10 for 11 years, it was Margaret Thatcher herself. 2,457 of you ruling this game with an iron fist right now. Tony gave her a run for her money, but even cut price C-3PO couldn't compete with the Iron Lady. Q9, which of these foods is high in FODMAPs? Tomatoes, honey, rice. Do you know what FODMAPs are? It's half the battle here. If not, I hope you're a great guesser. It may be a mouthful, but the FODMAPs themselves are even harder to digest, high in poorly absorbed sugars. It's honey. Honey is your answer, honeys. 970 of you got that correct. You're all about that money. Now, the FODMAP diet eliminates a series of short-chain carbohydrates and sugars, helping to combat irritable bowel syndrome. In case you wondered, Q10, which of these did the monarch propose to ban in late 17th century England? Coffee houses, whistling, purple clothing. They're all big these days. But which one wasn't? back then. They've all been outlawed at some point, but what did Charles II ban in 1675? Forced to sip on lattes in secret. Coffee houses is your answer. 251 of you on this savage question. Yes, it is. Sizzling sausages. For the second time, 251 of you with the added boost there. Now, he argued that they promoted laziness, but he was actually worried about the political discussions taking place inside those coffee houses. Yeah. Q11, which of these innovations came first at Wimbledon, Yellow Balls, Cyclops, Net Cord Sensors? What came first, the strawberry or the cream? What do you think, players? Exactly what color they are is still under debate, but the current yellow balls were first served in 1986, keeping its only eye on the service line since 1980. Cyclops is your answer here on Q11. And that was another savage one with just 31 players getting that correct. Grand Slam at the ready, folks, because we're bouncing on to the final round. 31 players left in the game. 550 pounds up for grabs and those bragging rights. Another 17 players using their extra lives to get back in last minute. Good luck to all of you. Q12, which Pirates of the Caribbean character has an A-shaped scar on his face? Sal Feng, Barbosa, Bootstrap Bill. Who's the A-lister here and isn't afraid to show it? They all appeared at World's End, but which of them wore an alphabetical scar? Bootstrap Bill's face was pretty gnarly, but that was all barnacles. Cannonballed out of the series, but leaving his treasure. Sal Feng is your winning answer. And we've got 13 winners, my lovelies. <laughs>
from 42 pounds and 30p on this Monday afternoon. We've got Mastel 87 SC 311. What's that stand for, Sharon Carpenter? Perhaps? No, not me. Kish Moo C. We've got Yana. Cora Lever as well, and a bunch more winners. Well done to you guys. What are you gonna do with the cash? Maybe bribe a mate to take a walk with you so you don't have to walk as a cloud. Get that collagen pop in, however you want. There's so much you could do with the cash. What an awesome game as always, HQTs. I'm Shazza Carpenter, and you can find me on the socials. You know where, right here, in case you forgot. Stop by, let me know how you did today, or just come by and say hi. I'll be back tonight at 9 p.m. with another chance for you to get your mitts on 550 pounds. See you right back here soon. Bye.